I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Look around like they see you on the mound, they don't see you on the climb. Right? Me and all of mine in the power line. Look at this and what you find. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Josh and I am the founder and master electrician of Empowered Electric. And I just wanna welcome you back to Empower ED, where we try to take a close look at all things craft related and show the tips and tricks that really take your skill to the next level. Today, I wanna to talk about a really common thing. Um, it's funny, as an electrician, one of the things that you do the most that's least talked about is wire makeup. The way that you take two wires, two independent wires or more and splice them together, Typically it's with wire nuts. And so I wanna just take a little look at what it looks like to make up what I think is the best way, some solid number 12 wires. It's one of the most common things that you do. It's a very basic thing, but if you don't do it right, it can cause, cause a lot of troubles, a lot of shorts, a lot of makeup issues, and we don't want that. So let's make up these wires right the first time, and I'll show you how. The first thing I wanna talk about whenever you walk up to a box and you're gonna start doing makeup is you, want, you don't wanna just start cutting things right away. You wanna identify what goes with what, and so we have a lot going on here because I wanna show you multiple ways to make up the wire. So we see here there's a black and a white white neutral and a blue and a white, so that's there. We've got a black and a white here, number 12 wire. You just wanna take a little bit of time because if the person before you didn't set you up for success, you can get in trouble. I'm gonna get these grounds. We know those are all gonna make up. And there's not gonna be a device in this box. This, this video is just for wire makeup. So we see black and white, black and white here. We see blue and white, blue and white here. So this stuff's gonna make up together. And then we also see right here another set of black and white wires so one of the very first things we're going to want to do is make up these and make up these and then make up the ground so let's start with these blue and whites because there's only two one of the first things you're going to want to do is get them lined up and when you get them lined up you can realize that this is longer than this you wanna make sure you have adequate wire, six inches outside of the hole, lines up perfectly there. So we can just trim them with our strippers or linemen or dykes and make them the same length. You then wanna strip off more than what you need. And this is very important. This is a, a trick that actually an apprentice taught me when I was a journeyman because I was trying really, really hard to strip off just enough wire to fit under the wire nut. And what he had showed me was if you strip off a little more than what you need, you take it and you line up the back sides, okay, of the wire. Notice the back side, the insulation is lined up. This also lines up because I stripped it dang near perfectly. But if, if the wire extended a little bit further, it's not a big deal. So I grab it with my linemans and I twist it. Sometimes people say if there's only two wires, you don't need to twist them. I like to say to those types of people, I've never had box makeup issues. I've never had wires come loose, mostly because even with two wires, I twist them together about that much. You don't wanna twist it so much that the blue wire and the insulation over here twists up. You just wanna get a really good compact twist at this copper. Now, you see what happened right here. The wire kind of flared apart. Well, if you strip enough wire, you can come back and trim it to length so that it's gonna fit really nice under that yellow wire nut. I'm gonna do that with the same with these, these yellow wires. Since there's only two wires, we can use yellow wire nuts. But yellow wire nuts are good for up to three wires. I honestly never really put them over more than two. Um, the it, three number 12s will fit with a yellow wire nut, but gosh dang, it is tight. If you put the wire nut on like this, there'd be a little bit of copper showing. You don't want any of this copper exposed. So you wanna make sure that you twist that wire really good and tight. Now, when you're done, you can give them a little tug, see if the wire nuts come off, they don't. So that's a good connection when it comes to two wires. Now, three wires. See how this wire right here is taped a little further up than the back where it's identified. Um, that can be a problem. Um, we might need to rip that off. And the reason that we wanna get that ripped off is when you're trying to twist your wires, you need a lot more like little flexible room. So we're just gonna move that real quick. So still 
we want to identify them. Now you, you might say, well, why do I need to tape them right now to identify them? Because somebody else might get into this box later on and not know as much as you know. So take the time now to make life a little easier on the person behind you and it'll be better, okay? So we've got our blacks, our whites. We're gonna line them up like last time. The shortest wire is here, but it's still, it's still enough. See that right here? Let's get this lined up. Okay, get that lined up. Now, I could try to cut this with my strippers. That's probably not gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna cut them with my dykes. It's just too many wires for the strippers to handle. Dykes stand for diagonal cutters. You see them right there, how they're kind of angled. That Klein makes them, Ideal makes them, lots of different people make them. Now, whenever I'm stripping these wires, once again, remember, I'm stripping a little more than I need. So with three wires, I mean, I might be good, but I'm not that good. See how I wanna line up the insulation and how all the copper's not the same length? If I lined up the copper, see how the insulation's messed up? The reason you'll wanna do that is when you twist it and cut it, when I go to put the wire nut on, that little bit of copper might be exposed. And that could be a shock hazard, that could be a short hazard, a lot of things could go wrong with that. So it's very important before you start stripping it or twisting it, that you line up the backs of the insulation. I then grab them and pinch them. My fingers are really, really good and strong because why? If you've watched any of these videos, you know that what separates a amateur electrician and a master is the amount of Chinese food they eat with chopsticks. Don't be eating General Zhao's chicken with a fork like a savage. Use those chopsticks. You twist it long, cut it, and whenever I do three wires, like I said, I could get away with using a yellow, but I wanna use a red. A red can, I think, hold up to six number 12 wires is what I just read. I heard a good rule of thumb was five. So really, two wires for yellow up to five number 12s, use a red. Twist it on there, like so. You've got a good connection. Now guys, check this out. So as I'm holding these wires with my left hand, Here's something that a lot of times you can do. Try to avoid it. Reach down and grab these wires to push them together. Don't do that. Remember we said in an earlier video that if you act like electricity is hot and you treat it like it's hot, even when it's not, I know it's not, you're gonna reduce your, the likelihood of you getting shocked. And I don't want you to get shocked. Electricity is dangerous. You should always be safe. Never do anything you feel uncomfortable with. But rather than grabbing those with my hands, use the tool. And so you can grab it with the tool and kind of pinch them together. And I'm not grabbing them tight, I'm just kind of working them together. Now when I did that, the insulation didn't line up, so I bat it back, and then I grab it and twist it, okay? And I twist it, a little so. Last little bit, I kind of just twist, not with a lot of pressure, so it just kind of pulls together. Look at the tightness of that wire. That's some tight wire, that's good. Take my lineman side, cut it down, cut it, cut it a little shorter. It's a good connection right there, and I'm, once again, I'm just gonna pull out that red wire nut, put it on there. Now I know, once again, you're going, man, Josh, this is something I learned week one. Is this exactly how you do it? Because if it's not, you're probably doing it wrong. You're lining up the ends of the copper, you're twisting it, you're not giving it a little tug at the end, and you're having problems and you're having to open box after box after box because your wires weren't made up right. Maybe you plug something in and it doesn't work because there's a loose neutral. There ain't no loose neutral here. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do is pull up to these grounds. Now, grounds get abused, okay? They're like twisted and angry and all this kind of stuff, just like every other wire. So it could be uh, four wires, it could be five wires. You can do more like six, seven, and eight. You gotta move to a big, fatty blue wire nut. Um, you'll notice they are, they are humongous things and you're not gonna fit very many of them in a box. So most boxes you won't wanna get that many wires. So I line up the four. I kinda try to straighten them as much as I can, give them that rock back and forth. I see that here's about the time. Now with four wires, I should get away with my linemans. Boom, Klein linemans, cut wire like a champ. So I get my strippers out, just like last time. Treat it like it's hot, even though it's a ground, you know you ain't gonna get shocked on the ground. If you get shocked on the ground, something is seriously wrong, and you better watch a lot of other videos. Heck, turn the video off, go find your foreman, because something is, something is wrong wrong. So, strip these wires. Once again, I'm trying to make them a little jangle dangled. 
little uh, loosey goosey for you. I'm just a, I'm, I have a, si a sixth sense, a skill at making up words on the fly. Um, line up the insulation, grab them, and what are we gonna do? See, when I grabbed them, they kind of, one of them fell loose. You don't wanna twist individual wires. You wanna grab them all together and twist them, just like so. Now, look at that. Look at how nasty that end is. If I tried to put a wire nut on, let me just try, let me see what happens. Well, yellow for sure ain't gonna fit, come on. But if I tried to put a red on there, See how it's like, you hear that sound? Something's going wrong. It's telling you, I don't like that. That's why I twist them long and cut them off like this so that it makes it a little, and you might have to give her a little twist. Then when you put it on, even four wires, which is quite a few, it twists on super nice. There we go. All those wires twisted nice. They're gonna be able to be pushed back and made up really well. And there you have it. That's how you make up number 12s. So guys, there you have it. We made up two number 12 wires. We made up three number 12 wires and we made up four number 12 wires. All the wires were solid, so it was pretty easy. So what did we learn? We learned that you wanna strip more of the insulation than needed. Why? So that when you twist the wires together, there's enough that you can cut it and have a nice clean end. Don't line up the end of the copper, line up the end of the insulation. The next thing we learned was that wire nuts. Even though they say you can put three number 12s under a yellow, just stick with two. They say you can put six under a red, stick with five. We also learned that you, don't, you always wanna treat wires like they're hot. Don't go grabbing the ends of the copper. Use your tools like this to grab the wires and twist them nice. A lot of people are gonna tell you, hey, you're wasting time twisting two wires. There's no reason to do that. I heard a journeyman say that as he was opening box after box after box, trying to find where his loose connection was, where his faulty connection was. I've never had that issue. And if you follow this type of wire makeup, you won't have a problem either. As always, guys, um, thanks a ton for listening. If you are in need of a service electrician or electrician and you're in the Kansas City area, feel free to reach out to us. Empowered Electric, 816-500-9452. Have a great day. I, I got buzz like Gita. Throwback hits like Keepers. Keep up, I might leave you. Team way up like Kiba.